it's Friday, October 30th, 2015. Hey, it's the one year anniversary since we first launched Lake County Flash. Thank you for watching. Halloween is tomorrow and daylight savings time kicks in this weekend, so don't forget to set your clocks back one hour. Here's your two minute rundown of all the Halloween fun this weekend and all things Oregon Outback. There's plenty happening to celebrate Halloween for young and older likes, starting Friday in Lakeview with two haunted houses, one at the West Side Grange starting at 6 p.m. and another at Daly Middle School at 7. The Lakeview Oaks Lodge is also hosting a costume and cocktails party for 21 and over, kicking off at 8.30. Saturday has plenty of trick-or-treating options, with the Lakeview Oaks Lodge, Faith Center, and Nazarene Church all hosting trunk-or-treat events while Lakeview Police will be handing out candy at the station. Up in North Lake, Christmas Valley will host a trunk-or-treat at Sagewood Grocery, followed by music and munchies at the Christmas Valley Community Hall. In Paisley, a Halloween party at the Paisley Community Center kicks off at 5 p.m. And in Lakeview, the Eagle's Nest is hosting a Halloween party starting at 8. However you choose to celebrate, be safe and have fun. Darwin Johnson and Ray Turner were both officially sworn in on Tuesday as the newest members of the Lakeview Town Council. Johnson and Turner were each selected from a pool of interested candidates to fill vacant seats on the council in the wake of two resignations over the summer, including the town mayor. Liaison duties for the council members will be decided at the next meeting, scheduled for Tuesday, November 10th. Oregon Department of Corrections Director Colette Peters made a visit to Lakeview at a Rotary Club meeting on Wednesday to speak about the state's efforts towards revitalizing criminals in the system. Her words covered the status of the corrections industry and programs in Oregon that help those in the judicial system. Peters confirmed that Oregon has the lowest recidivism rate in the country due to a variety of programs. Fall sports are wrapping up with Paisley Dunn and North Lake finishing its football season Friday at Butte Falls. Friday, Lakeview High School also plays its last regular season football game against St. Mary's, a win possibly securing a state playoff spot. Meanwhile, two LHS runners have already secured their postseason dreams. Kyle Dieter and Lily Taylor Saban will both be spending their Halloween competing at the State Cross Country Championships in Eugene on Saturday. Meanwhile, it's a waiting game for LHS boys soccer, who secured third place with a 3-1 victory over Illinois Valley on Tuesday, and they'll wait to find out where in the state playoff they will be seated. Well, there's the buzzer, so that does it for us this week. Here at The Examiner, we've launched an all-new website, StopByLakeCountyExam.com, for breaking news, weather reports, an interactive community calendar, news stories, a vast photo and video gallery, special editions, and so much more. Come see it for yourself at LakeCountyExam.com. Be sure to follow us across all these social media sites, catch a new Lake County Flash every Friday, and for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up the next Lake County Exam. Do you have a desire to work in healthcare, or simply want to learn CPR to possibly save a life? Lake District Hospital has you covered with several upcoming classes. Community CPR classes will be held on November 18th and December 17th. Cost is $35 per person and pre-registration is required. Lakeview Gardens is also offering nursing assistant classes starting on November 16th. Class size is limited to 8 students and registration is due by November 11th. Available at the Lakeview Gardens Nurses Station. Students will be required to complete a background check and drug screen. Also coming soon are childbirth education classes and so much more. Watch for upcoming announcements on the LDH website. Lake Health District is an equal opportunity employer and provider.